Tonight, America is in grave danger. Welcome back to Craptober, and today we have Super Shark from 2011. Yup, that's right. We're finally getting a shark movie on Craptober. Alright everybody, wait a second. I had a problem here. This video could not be monetized because apparently I got a copyright claim. So as of right now on October 17th, I'm re-recording this video and we'll have it up later today. So by the time you're watching this, it's still going to be episode 17. It's still going to be about Super Shark. But I'm not allowed to use any video clips or anything because the publisher will take all the ad revenue and everything from it. So I'd, it's kind of bullshit. Anyways, let's get right into the review. I'm sorry about this, but bear with me. We can't let this mess with our Craptober journey. Don't you just hate it when you're in the middle of a bikini competition and then out of nowhere some giant ass shark comes out of the ocean? Yeah, me too. And the quality of this movie is not great whatsoever. And now you may be wondering where the hell did the shark come from? From an underwater drilling experiment that obviously went wrong. This shark can fucking jump out of the water high enough to grab a plane out of the sky and bring it back down. That's one super shark. Take a look at your screen right now. This looks like a horrible N64 game where you're a pilot fighting sharks in the sky. But anyways, once the shark keeps attacking the people, the military come in and they are fucked. They can't do anything about it. And of course, there's the one guy who wants to keep the beaches open. Huh, doesn't that sound familiar? I swear, I don't know why, but I feel like I've seen this before. Hmm. Anyways, you're probably wondering, how in the hell are they going to stop this shark? Well, the military bring in their absolute last option. A walking tank. So that means we get a big fight showdown between a giant super shark and a walking tank. That's something that you don't see at all. But it sucks and it's awesome. The best part of the movie is this guy, Jimmy J.J. Weaver. He's the radio DJ throughout the film and he's so awkward and funny at the same time. This is one of the best, it's so bad it's good shark movies and I think you should check it out because you'll have a really fun time just laughing about how horrible it is. So there you go. Brief review of Super Shark. Go check it out, and remember, stay scared.